Now, through Google AdWords, you'll be able to utilize Google's extensive list of resources in order to attract more customers to your business, reach the right people at the right time, and create all of your video ad campaigns through an easy to use system. This is the space where you'll be able to create, coordinate, and send your ads, whether you choose to launch a video campaign or not. You have countless choices with how you can tailor your ads so that they reach the right people in the right places. There are many tools to help you gather insight into your target audience, cost-effective ad budgeting, and figure out the most effective ad campaign strategies for you and your brand. To get started, you'll want to head on over to the main homepage of Google AdWords. Click on the Get Started or Sign Up button and enter your Gmail information as well as the URL for your website. From there, you'll be directed to a page asking you to pick a goal for your ad campaigns to try and achieve for your business. Whether you want potential customers to call your business, visit a storefront, or take an action on your website, such as a purchase or a sign up. Once you pick your goal, you'll be asked to specify the most opportune or ideal location of your customers. Basically, where your potential customers are most likely located. If you want to target English speakers, then obviously you want to target English speaking countries. Next, after you pick which location or set of locations you'd like to advertise in, you'll be directed to a page that asks you to define or specify your product or business. This is a nice feature because you can set up AdWords to show your ads to people who search for specific terms related to your business. Within the very next step, you'll be asked to set up your very first ad. Isn't that exciting? It really is that easy. You'll be able to see examples of what a good standard ad looks like with tips on what kind of headline to use or what kind of call to action to include within the ad. In any case, you'll be ready to implement your very first ad across Google and only pay when you see results, aka click-throughs and conversions. Now, because these directions were for conventional online ads, we need to shift the focus to creating video ads, as this will be our primary focus for the course. So, from the AdWords homepage, you can click on the Campaigns button and look for the Video Ads option. Now, from here, you can choose which one of your YouTube videos to upload and create a video ad out of it you'll be able to specify how much you want to spend and who your target audience will be. We can get into further depth with actually initiating and launching your ad campaigns a bit later on. But for now, this should be a good introductory start. Here, the more important step is linking your YouTube and AdWords accounts together so that you can seamlessly set up and organize your video ads. One of the simplest ways to do this is to head on over to youtube.com and log into your account with your Gmail and password information. Then, head on over to your channel icon or name at the top right corner of the page and click on Create a Studio. From there, look within the left hand side menu and click on the Channel button, then click on the Advanced option. From there, you can change your icon, location, or channel keywords, but most importantly, link your AdWords account. When you click on the button that says Link AdWords account, you'll be asked to log into AdWords for video at adwords.google.com forward slash video, and copy and paste your AdWords customer ID into the form. Once you do that, the process is fairly straightforward, and you'll have officially linked your accounts. After this, the defined owner of the AdWords account should approve your request, and your YouTube channel will be linked to that AdWords account. Now, you can also link your accounts through AdWords by clicking on the Settings button next to your account name, clicking on Linked Accounts. Select YouTube in the Navigation panel and click on Plus Channel. Then you'll want to either search for your channel or enter its URL. Once you follow the directions, you should be all set up. Once again, 
As soon as the YouTube channel owner approves your request to link, the process is complete. Once you've linked all of your accounts, as a final step, you'll want to verify your account in order to have some nice advantages, like uploading videos over 15 minutes long and having custom thumbnails to go along with your videos. Don't worry, this type of verification isn't complicated and you can just head on over to youtube.com forward slash verify and follow the instructions from there. Verifying your account is different from having a verification badge, which is a small check icon that goes alongside a channel's name in order to indicate a channel that has earned over 100,000 subscribers. To get this badge of honor, you'll have to submit a request with YouTube. And if you're an advertiser, you'll have to speak with your sales manager to see your options.